Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Year Six's end of year assembly. Fall is here. Hear the yell. Back to school. Ring the bell. Brand new shoes. Walk in blues. Climb the fence. Books and pens. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Walk with me, Susie Lee, through the park and by the tree. We can rest upon the ground and look at all the bugs we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. We safely walk to school without a sound. Well, here we are. No one else. We walk to school all by ourselves. There's dirt on our uniforms from chasing all the ants and worms. We clean up and now it's time to learn. We clean up and now it's time to learn. Numbers, letters, learn to spell. Nouns and books and show and tell. Playtime, we will throw the ball then back to class through the hall. Teacher marks our height against the wall. The teacher marks our height against the wall. We don't notice any time pass. 'Cause we don't notice anything. We sit side by side in every class. The teacher thinks that I sound funny, but she likes it when you sing. Not all dream in my bed while silly thoughts run through my head of the bugs in alphabet. And when I wake tomorrow, I'll bet you and I will walk together again. 'Cause I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Did you enjoy the photos from when we first started Baobab? All the way from ELC to grade six. I'm going to talk about the final year. We started our year with real excitement. Our last year at primary, the big fish in the pond. We are looking forward to monitors, house captains, team building campouts, Mukambi, end of your primary lunch, primary play, and we'll finally get to go to the tuck shop on Fridays. How many ice creams did we eat? The first term started with a bang. Hi ho, hi ho! It's off to work we go. Two weeks into the term, we already had our camp out. The team building was really nice to get to know all the new children, and we had quite a few new children. Putting up the tent was quite a mission. Teamwork proved to be really important. It was great to come back into class after team building. We knew each other a bit better. Enjoyed Independence Day and dressing up in African clothes and seeing those people dancing on stage. Now it was time for Mukambi. What a trip! The bus drive took five hours. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Quite far, but was it worth it? Definitely, yes. What a beautiful place! The river, the lodge, it was amazing. And the animals. Did you know we saw wild dogs? And that Anna, who taught us about the wild dogs, lost her finger. Oh no! I hope the wild dogs didn't get hold of it. Oh no no no! It was a stiletto snake. How unfortunate! Do not touch a snake unless you are a hundred percent sure it is safe. Some of us saw a lion. Others saw a huge buffalo head. We all saw elephants, crocodiles, pukus, impalas, warthog, terrapins, and even the mighty fish eagle. Food, glorious food, hot sausage and mustard. The food was delicious. We also did our own cooking, pizza and poiki. 
Coming back, it was time for Christmas. The term went so fast. My favorite highlight of year six was playing in the orchestra because I got to play in the Christmas carols and I got to see new instruments that I've heard before but never seen. Holidays. We all did our own things and were happy to be going back to school. become a monitor that was great but not always easy when you wanted to eat your own food george 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 of the jungle strong as he can be we got a new jungle gym we had to take turns at first too many children wanted to play at the same time all of a sudden we realized that time was flying only a couple of weeks left we were working so hard and then Corona struck. No school! Yeah! That's a long holiday! Not really. Baobab at home began. So now we are learning at home. Home, home on the range. That was fun at first. Snacking while learning, listening to music, waking up late. Great. Easter holiday came and went back to school at home. What a shock we got when we found out we were going to do Google Classroom. What? How? At home still? Oh boy, do we have problems to start with? Internet, Zesco, handing in, attaching? But we got done with it. We never learned so much. 
working with our computer skills. Miss Bailey and Miss Porter have also become computer wizards. Well, almost. No more lessons at school until we go to secondary. Ah, secondary. Oh, boy. Will we find a way around the school? We haven't even had any tasty lessons yet. We have not been to an assembly either. I to be late for class. I'm late, I'm late. For a very important date. There are so many to go to. But we'll get a small new uniform. No more dresses by the skirt and shirt. And no hats. Trousers instead of shorts. That will be hot in the hot season. Yes, because they also have to wear a tie and a blazer. We're all excited to go to secondary, but we're going to miss one thing. No leavers lunch. So sad. Hopefully we'll get the chance in a new academic year. We've had a wonderful time in primary and we'll miss you all. Thank you everyone who has helped us and taught us through primary. We will never forget you. The class of 2020, year six, leave us poem. What a year it's been for you, our lovely little crew. We had plans and intentions and a lot of things to do. From learning about areas like algebra and spag to using the subjunctive mood. We had that in the bag. Yet, as you'll often find in life, we were put to the test. But not the normal satsy kind. A weird, abnormal quest. We were sent into a lockdown and school was closed for most. Of all of our priorities, your safety was utmost. Your world was twisted sideways. Your life changed overnight. Yet, acting for the greater good, you did what's just and right. It's been so hard. We know that. We're proud of what you've shown when facing such adversity, unlike we've ever known. We're in a time in history that will be on the shelves. A tale to tell our grandchildren that's greater than ourselves. A spell when you were children and you had to leave your friends to keep all of your loved ones safe and bring this to an end. They'll look at you like heroes, the sort we know you are. Your warriors, your brave young knights, your bright and dazzling stars. And though we've had to part now in unexpected ways, we still have all the memories of countless fun school days. Remember cheers on sports days and trips to near and far. Remember class assemblies and learning the guitar. Remember all our playtimes and running on the grass. But most of all, remember how you're valued in this class. As we look back in future, we'll think of you and smile. The kids who showed resilience and went the extra mile. So, though it's time to say goodbye, just know it's not the end. We'll live on in your memories as special Year 6 friends. Before we go, we'd like to sing a song about all the troubles we've had these last few months called Life Will Find A Way.
our teachers want to have the last say. Over to you, Mrs. Bailey and Mrs. Portal. I have thoroughly enjoyed teaching all of you this year, well, for Term 1 and Term 2, and I hope you've enjoyed your time in Year 6. Please remember, when you go to Year 7, try not to be Doris's all the time. Think carefully. Good luck to you all, and we'll be watching your progress very, very carefully in Year 7. This is it. You have reached the end of primary. Well done. I have thoroughly enjoyed teaching you. Make sure you hold your pen correctly and that you sit up properly. Good luck to all of you and please come and visit us.